Now that your LFN cabinets are in the proper position, we can now start the installation process. Make sure you have all your tools and hardware available to complete these steps accurately. Now, let's assemble the cabinets and the control tower. First, locate the keys attached to the control tower. Open the cabinet and remove the assembly parts and other components from the cabinet and move them to a safe location. Next, push the cabinets together and square them to each other as shown in the configuration sheet. Make sure to align them in ascending order by bin number. Placing the bubble level in the appropriate location on the top of each cabinet, use the leveling feet on the bottom of each cabinet to level the cabinets and the control tower. Make sure each cabinet is stable and level and still aligned properly from cabinet to cabinet. Once the cabinets are stable and level, use the keys to unlock the top frame of each cabinet. The locks are located on the top left and right of each cabinet. Once the top frame is unlocked, lift the top frame up to gain access to the inside of the cabinet. Using the cabinet bus harness on the third motor controller board, insert one end through the grommet in the first cabinet and route it through the grommet in the next cabinet. Connect the 4-pin connector to the available adapter on the first motor controller board in the next cabinet. Repeat this process until all cabinets have been daisy-chained together. Confirm that the last motor controller in the series has a terminator jumper. Next, locate the long tower bus harness inside the auto crib control tower. Route one end of the cable through the grommet in the control tower and connect it to the available slot in the first motor controller board inside the first cabinet. The other side will connect to the Elevan Multiplexer Board, or MUX, in the control tower. Once the cables are installed, make sure the cables are clear of any moving parts within the cabinets, especially the lifter assemblies in each of the cabinets. Now that the control tower and cabinets are connected together, let's test the Elevan to make sure all is well. Connect the control tower to the tested wall outlet. When you turn on the UPS system in the bottom of the tower, you are turning on the whole control tower. If all is well, the keypad display on the control tower will light up. In addition, the status lights on the multiplexer board in the control tower should light up, and each lifter mechanism will turn on. When the system is powered up properly, open the front door of each cabinet and close the top frame, making sure the frame is closed and locked. We are now ready to test each bin for proper cycling of the lift mechanism. To begin the test cycle for each bin, start by pressing the bin door release button located below the status light on the bottom edge of the frame. The front panel LED should flash when the bin door is open or unlatched. To press the mode button until the status light flashes several times, the service mode light should come on steady. The lifter is now in service mode. Now close the bin door. The lifter should now begin to rise. The lifter will continue to rise until it reaches the upper limit switch. Once the upper limit switch is reached, the lifter will automatically reverse direction and move to the bottom limit sensor. This process can take up to six minutes for each bin and will repeat until service mode is turned off. If the lifter does not move, the lasers may be out of alignment. See the troubleshooting segment of this video product guide for full instructions on aligning the lasers properly. Repeat this process for the rest of the lifters. Remember, you can test more than one lifter at a time. You can get them all going at once if you want to. If you wish to stop the lifter during the test cycle, you can simply press the bin door release button. The lifter is interlocked, meaning it will not move if the bin door is unlatched or open. When the bin door is closed, the lifter will restart the test cycle, moving the lift upwards to the upper limit. The test cycle always moves the lifter up first. Once all the lifters pass the test cycle, you can place the lifter back into run mode by pushing the mode button until the service mode light goes out. The cabinets are now ready to be placed into service, and we can move on to the next segment of this video instruction guide.